Hey, it's a little bit different video than what I usually make. And um, I'm a little bit, a little bit angrier than I typically am because um, I keep getting these tweets and Reddit posts and everything else forced into my face about NBA 2K22 and how we can pre-order it right now. And I just really need to make it clear and tell everybody watching this, please do not pre-order NBA 2K22. Don't do it. Just don't, okay? We, as a sports community, sports game community, whatever you want to call us, have had the short end of the stick for a long time in a lot of the popular titles. Now, if you don't know me, I love basketball. I grew up playing basketball. Uh, I was this close to making it to the NBA. It just didn't pan out. But that's just, you know, that's how the cards go, right? So, like a lot of other people, where maybe I go and I play basketball occasionally at, uh, at the park or at the rec center, I also like to come home and I, I do enjoy playing basketball with my friends. But over the last maybe four iterations of NBA 2K, I've noticed less and less of my friends want to play it. And I've noticed I myself don't have fun with it anymore. And it's because so much of the game has been so heavily monetized in like every aspect. And what frustrates me is I see those Reddit posts where EA's, you know, getting clowned on because of like FIFA and Madden, whatever, right? And you're right. Those games are abominations um, that have outstayed their welcome and are borderline criminal with what their loot boxes uh, system is like for their ultimate team stuff. I mean, UK Parliament, I think, has been trying to get those banned for a long time now. But what I never see, it seems like, is 2K getting that same level of um, level of disrespect that I think they deserve. And I'm kind of just I'm fed up with it. I, I don't want to defend EA for what they're doing. But I'm like, if we're going to be doing this, why don't we just go all in? Why don't we go all in on these companies, especially 2K and uh, Take-Two Interactive, their parent company, who owns Rockstar and is the reason why we won't be getting a Grand Theft Auto 6 anytime soon, but yet they're continuing to release and run commercials for Grand Theft Auto Online, which is also heavily monetized too. So at what point do we just not deal with it anymore? At what point do we actually say, you know what? No. We're not buying this product. And before you go, well, it's my money. I'll do what I want. You're absolutely right. But really ask yourself, do you like the product that you're getting? Are you happy with all of its blatant flaws and things that they just refuse to fix? Are you happy with the fact that they sell you two different games, depending on what console you have, but then also tell PC owners that their PCs aren't good enough to run the next gen version of those games? Are you happy with every single aspect of that game being monetized to the point where you can't even play the single player of my career offline? You have to be connected to 2K service to do it. I just am so tired of our community going through this cycle every year where new 2K gets announced, everybody clowns it a little bit. Right. And then they release a trailer and maybe people are excited about the trailer because it's got a little bit more sweat or maybe a little bit better lighting and all this kind of stuff. But nothing ever really changes. And what's frustrating, too, is that we've had people doing amazing work with mods on the 2K PC version that look way better than anything 2K puts together. But everything fundamentally about NBA 2K is in it's intentionally designed to waste your time and therefore trick you into just paying for things. So case in point, I think one of the biggest things that 2K introduced that really started to be the down decline of everything is um, is the, the park. Wait, I'm, whoa. What do you mean? This is my first time, this is like GTA. One of the things I think that really set 2K off on this track of, of just year after year decline is two things. One, the absence of any competition from NBA Live. 
okay? And NBA Live, for, for whatever you want to say about NBA Live, I know people, you know, they don't necessarily hold it up to high praise, and I get that. It's not a perfect game by any means. What the fuck? Why the fuck is this man above the rim? Look at this shit, bruh. Isaiah Thomas got a defense like that. We going to the fucking championship with a breeze if he playing defense like this. However, any product that has no competition generally doesn't care about its consumers at some point. There, there has to be competition to push them to want to be better, to push them to want to do something innovative and push them to care about what their customers are saying and what the, the consumers are saying. And without EA in that market, 2K just runs rampant, and that's what you're seeing with things like FIFA, and that's what you're seeing with things like Madden. EA does the same thing, and we need the competition to sort of make that happen and make it so that this product actually comes out with the intent on pleasing the customer versus just making the bottom line profit, and that's all it is. When 2K releases a game, it'll go maybe four months with support, and then they're already on to the next title. It's copy paste. Let's go. Got to get the new one out because that's what consumers expect is for some reason we've been okay with an annual release every single year. And we need to not be anymore. That's, that's my point. Then the second thing that I think was really the start of the decline was the introduction of the park, which then became the neighborhood, which then became the city. And I think with that, we've seen them figure out a way to make it so that this game is just as frustrating as it can be. It's as time consuming as it can be. And you are left with essentially two choices. You can either A, grind the game out over the course of however many hours to make your player better and hope that it's the way you wanted it to turn out. Or B, you can just, you know, throw a hundred bucks at it and, uh, and call it a day. Now, if you've got the money to do that, that's not, you know, that's your own, that's your own decision, right? The thing is, though, is that it shouldn't be, it shouldn't even be an option. You shouldn't have to be left with that option where you're paying 70 bucks for the game and then left with the choice of, well, are you going to spend over 100 hours playing this and making your player better so you can play online with your friends? Or are you just going to put 100 bucks in and call it a day and that's it? And with that, too, you're also inadvertently forcing everybody else to make that same decision too because by doing so you are setting this precedent that well i can go to the park i could go play online with my friends but they spent 100 bucks to make their player better i didn't and now i'm stuck at such a low level that i can't even really have fun with them anymore they don't even want to play with me and it's turning um it's turning us against each other and even further that extent how many times have you been and be honest how many times have you been to the park or the neighborhood, or the city, and you've seen a lower overall player, and you've just decided not to play with them, right? You, you walk up to the little spot where you would have next, and you look at their player card, and you realize, oh, they're only like a 72 overall, and they don't have any badges, and then you just walk away. And like, I get that. I get not wanting to play with low tier players, but this is what the game has done to us. It's forced us into figuring out what we have it takes way too long to get anything done. I'm not going to waste my time with somebody else who's not as good. And for everything you want to say about NBA Live, and again, I know it's not a perfect game, but NBA Live 18 and NBA Live 19 brought some really interesting stuff and just really, honestly, basic stuff to the basketball sim world that I don't understand why we don't hold 2K to those same standards. Those companies love to take ideas from one another, and that's whatever. I don't care. As long as whoever does it best does it, that's fine. But you look at the model for something like the neighborhood and something like the city, and how that is just designed to piss you off and waste your time. Everything takes forever to do. You want a new shirt? Well, you have to jog down to a store and go get it. You want to get a haircut? Well, you got to jog down to the haircut place and get that. You got to do all this stupid shit before you can just do what you wanted to do and go play where NBA live was like, Hey, um, how about just a menu system 
what do you think? If you, if you press like the menu button to customize your player, you have hair, you have tattoos, you have clothes. How does that sound? Oh, you like having different clothes? Well, what about outfits? Maybe you can have three different outfits for your home games and three different outfits for your away games. Oh, there's another idea. Make it so that players actually have to wear a certain like light or a dark shirt, depending on if they're home or away. Makes it really easy to know whose team is on whose. And then on top of that, matchmaking. Why is matchmaking such a myth that 2K can't seem to implement to us? Who decided that running around for 10 minutes trying to find a spot to be next on was a better way of doing this? Who, who, who said, yeah, let's do that? This is what you really want? You want to spend 10, 15 minutes running around looking for a spot to be next only for you to run to that spot, maybe get beat by somebody else who was closer, or you sit there and you wait and then the other team walks off uh, because they don't want to play against you. They want to play against their friends that they kept playing with. And next thing you know, you spent 30 minutes trying to play and you get into a court and finally it's over in like five. How is that fun? Whose idea of fun is this? So NBA Live, not perfect. I get that. But there are things that they've done that 2K has no excuse not to do, right? I just think every year a new 2K comes out. Every year it's um, people who actually critique the game, say what they want to say, and 2K never listens, right? 2K is not looking at the tweets. They're not looking at um, these videos. They're not really looking at your Reddit posts, none of that. With the exceptions of when they create something like a skill gap and then they change it because a bunch of YouTubers complained about it, they don't really give a shit. They only care about what their influencers say. And that's it. That's whoever makes them the most money. That's who they care about. And you have to start understanding you don't hold any power when it comes to your tweets, your Reddit posts, your YouTube videos, none of us hold any power in that. We just don't. But what we do have is we have our money. We have our wallet, right? And you can decide if that company gets your money or not. You don't have to get the next 2K. You don't, right? Like there's no real reason that you have to do it. What, they update the rosters? So what, somebody else creates the rosters and updates, updates them for you? Just use those. The servers for the city and stuff will still be online, right? So just play on that still. Keep grinding out that player that you made. But don't give them any more money, especially for what this game is probably going to be, which is going to be a half step between their first iteration of the next-gen game and what they actually want to do. I'm so tired of 2K being the one that gets left off those lists of who abuses their consumers and who doesn't. I'm so tired of that. So please do yourself a favor. Just do me a favor. Don't pre-order this game. Just don't do it. Wait it out. Maybe it'll come out on Game Pass or something like that, or there'll be some deal where you can get it for 10 bucks or Epic Game Store will give it away for free or whatever it is, but don't give them your money. Just don't do it. They don't care about you. They don't care about us as customers. They only care about the bottom line and making that money. And that's it. So the only thing they're going to listen to is whether or not the money starts dropping off. That's it. Don't pre-order this game. I'm begging you. Now, if you disagree with me, make sure to dislike this video. Tell me in the comments what it is that you, um, you like so much about 2K and how much they're paying you. Because I really, really want to know. Other than that, everybody, that, that's about it. I'm just, I'm pissed off because I love basketball so much. And these sports titles, just every year, it's just the same endless shit. And us as consumers, we never seem to really stir up enough, um, enough anger to tell them and really tell them like, hey, this is not what we want anymore. And the only thing they're going to listen to, like I said, is, is money. So vote with your wallets. Don't buy this dumbass game. And um, yeah, I'm I'm done. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't fucking buy this game, please. Okay.